Warframe is getting a new intro cinematic and it looks like maybe even a different tutorial quest for new players. We finally got to see the whole thing at Tenocon this year and I thought it would be fun to look at how the intro and tutorial have changed over the years. This first clip was the intro video of the alpha version of Warframe that launched in October 2012. Don't worry, I am going to restart the video and let it play with sound after this, and then I'll try and fill in context as we go. You can see a version of this on the Play Warframe YouTube channel actually, but this particular clip I pulled from Glendua Gaming's channel and it was published on 11 April 2013. As best I can piece together, this was the intro from October 2012 until July 2013 when Update 9 launched. I'm going to keep quiet now so you can hear what the Lotus had to say. The Warframes, ancient weapons from the old earth. Only the Tenno can wield their power. But the Tenno are on the brink of extinction. The Grenier Empire, with their vast army, has occupied the outer systems. The Grenier hunt for those Tenno that remain. They hunt for you. But you will be waiting. You will master the Warframes. You will strike when they least expect it. With powers they could never have imagined. While this opening crawl is playing, something I thought is interesting is that I've seen two variants of this intro in YouTube Let's Play videos. One where the Warframe stands up and chops at the Grenier behind him, and another where the Warframe just remains seated. Another thing that's interesting is how the backstory evolves over the years. Here, the basic story is that the band needs to be brought back together. The Grenier are expanding, and only the Tenno can stop them. Notice how that changes when the intro cinematic with Captain or Commander Vor is introduced in Update 9. I am the Lotus, friend and guide. I see that the cryo sleep has taken your memory. It does not matter. You are Tenno. I will prepare you. Vora becomes the first major antagonist new players are introduced to as early as July 2013 with Update 9. This version of the intro I got from a channel called Video Games Source PlayStation 4 and it was published on 21 November 2013. Some interesting things to note here is that this takes place on an ice planet. It's cold, it's snowy, and there are also no subtitles but I expect that's because the people who recorded it turned it off. Don't worry about that, there are subtitles in the next one. Another thing is that we go straight through the portal to the Warframe and then this Excalibur has a sword on his back at the start. That brings us to the version of the intro that was introduced with update 14 on 18 July 2014. The update was called the Mad Cephalon and it featured a whole new player experience, kind of like what Digital Extremes is talking about doing with this new cinematic that they introduced at Tenocon. No call to wait here. The wording should sound familiar. A version of this cinematic has been in the game since this update. They might have tweaked it a bit since then, but if you create a new account in Warframe, this is the cinematic you see when you start the game. Another thing that's interesting to notice is that the face of Borrel over here has changed between the previous version of the cinematic and this one. And obviously, as I said, note, the previous one was on an ice planet. This one is happening on a green planet, specifically Earth. The twin queens, the sisters, have sent their most beloved commander, Thor, on an urgent mission. To 
to protect the twisted crusade they have begun. To transform the scattered colonies into an empire. To see that the Tenno, hidden and asleep, will never awaken. Vor puts down a beam device to open the portal. All of that wasn't in the previous cinematic. For those who might be interested, I cut this version of the intro together from two separate clips. This first part comes from a channel called Next Gen Tactics. They published this on the 17th of November 2014. But after the Warframe selection, he starts talking. And so the second part of the clip I took from a different channel, Solar Fuel, that was published in 2017. Uh, you could record this now and it will be the same. Wake up, Tenno. Tenno. I see the Lotus has tried to wake you. Pity she's too late. You're my prize now, Denno. No! We are taking this one with us! What has he done to you? I can't lose another Tenno. I'm surging your Warframe's power systems. Quick, use your power. Defend yourself. And now, the new cinematic. I'll try not to talk over when the Lotus is talking. For generations you've slept. No purpose. No call to wake you. Same opening line, this whole trailer has little moments in it that's meant to just be a nod to veterans. Warframe community is full of jokes about where the cinematic is inaccurate, where it differs from the game significantly. So in the game, if you fall in deep enough water, you're just dead. It's an instant respawn. I say dead, but what I mean is that you are just put back at the edge of the water. It's like accidentally jumping off the edge of the map or down a hole. The game is very forgiving in that way. It just puts you back where you fell off. Grenier. Seeds. From the ruins of the old war. Swallowing colonies whole. But there's still hope. The Grenier remain the primary antagonist that new players are introduced to right off the bat, and they are once again imperialistic, they're expansionist, and they're presented as ruthless. They utterly annihilated that community back there and left it on fire. No Captain Vor, though. The Tenno. Monuments of an ancient warrior caste. Scattered across frail worlds. This kind of wall running also hasn't been in the game since the introduction of the Parkour 2.0 system with update 17 on the 31st of July 2015. It's not that you can't wall run or that you are no longer this maneuverable in game. They had to make a couple of significant changes to the way movement works in Warframe, introduced bullet jumping. But that kind of wall running animation is just no longer there. You kind of hop along rather than run along. So maybe, hopefully, they're looking at bringing back those kinds of animations.
this they still joked about at the Tenacon keynote between the director and the developers. And the developers, it's one of those throwaway confirmations. Oh yeah, they're going to make changes to Mag so that she catches bullets like this. The clip of this sequence was in the teaser that played in front of Spider-Man Far From Home and it had the community asking, oh, when is Vault getting a bullet time augment mod? Since Mag's bullet stopping power has been confirmed, I guess nothing's impossible, so yeah, bullet time in Warframe, who knows. Another nod to veterans is that the Warframes in the cinematic have been fighting Dax soldiers mixed in with Rainier. Together, they fought back. Bringing an end to an empire. Then, they left. Forgotten. Like a dream. That melody combined with what's happening on screen here is definitely a wink and a nudge to players who have completed the cinematic quest line. Wake up, Tenno. Ending with the same line as well, but notice that your Warframe isn't in a pod. You're also not in a situation where a Grenier General is trying to imprison you. So it looks like a whole new start to the game. It's going to be interesting to see whether that comes with a new set of quests. I'm really hoping for a kind of cinematic campaign and from there explore the rest of the game and uh, ultimately end up in the quest line that leads to the second dream and the war within.